it simple and I'll just stick to three main things which all living things do. What are they? Well, all living things take food. They all grow and they all breathe. You, Rick and I are all living things. Really? Plants and trees are living things? I didn't know that, but I've never seen a plant take food. You are right, Rango. That's because plants make their own food. They take water and nitrogen from the soil, carbon dioxide from the air, and with the help of sunlight, they make their own food. But I thought the green color thing on the leaves is what's helpful for plants to make food. Haha, <laughs> yes, Rick. The green pigment of the leaves is called chlorophyll. They are needed for plants to make food on their own, apart from sunlight, water, and carbon dioxide. But you said that plants absorb nitrogen from the soil to make food. Yes, I did, Rick. But to make chlorophyll pigment, plants need nitrogen. Ah, I see. Now I understand. Plants get nitrogen, water, and other nutrients from the soil, and with the help of carbon dioxide and sunlight, they make their own food. Exactly, Rick. You got it. And the rest of us eat the plants, fruits, and vegetables directly or indirectly. I don't. I don't like vegetables at all. But I love bananas. I noticed, but you need to take more fruits and vegetables. That's good for you. Sure, sure, I will. So, plants make their own food, but animals depend on plants for their food. Is that right? Exactly, Rick. Plants, which include trees, shrubs, herbs, and all other types, make their own food, and animals depend on them for their food, directly or indirectly. Okay, guys. Let's get out of this place and check outside. Sure, Rick. We'll do so. Rick and Rhea, I'm going to look around and see which one of the things are living things and which ones are not. Rangu, we'll do that later. But I want to go around and find some fruits to eat. Sure, Rick. Rhea, can we go to the farm which has berries and grapes? I am hungry. No problem, Rick. Let's go there. Are these plants living too? Yes, Rangu. All these plants here and outside are all living things. Do they breathe like us? Of course they do. They breathe in oxygen and breathe out carbon dioxide, just like us. All animals do the same too. Let me explain. During breathing, plants and animals breathe in oxygen. When they breathe out, both plants and animals give carbon dioxide. Rhea. Isn't carbon dioxide something that's useful for plants? Yes, Rick. Carbon dioxide is useful for plants to prepare their food, and along with carbon dioxide, they need the green pigment found on the leaves known as chlorophyll, water, and sunlight. Where do they get these things from? Water is absorbed from the ground and carbon dioxide from the air. Oh, I see. And sunlight is available whenever there's sun, and the green chlorophyll is found on the leaves. Exactly, Rick. If sunlight is not present, like inside our house, can plants still make their own food? Yes, they can. Any light is helpful, but sunlight is the best source of light for plants to make their own food. Let me explain this in detail. Let's see how a plant grows from a small sapling into a plant and later a tree. They produce their own food every day by absorbing nitrogen, water, and other nutrients from the soil utilizes carbon dioxide and sunlight. The nitrogen absorbed from the soil helps them to create a green pigment, which is called chlorophyll. And this combines with carbon dioxide, sunlight, and water to create their food and release oxygen back into the air. <laughs>